Hey Varla fans, uh, Shawnee Rick here with the version 2 scooter and recently I did a video on how to check your fuses and um, also how to troubleshoot uh, a few things when things aren't working right. My rear hub motor started to act up, wasn't performing the best. So that's why I did a video on how to like, you know, open up and to go through the wires and to make sure everything's connected correctly and also to uh, look at your fuses um, because as I was uh, troubleshooting and everything and trying to figure out uh, what was wrong, I heard something pop. I thought it might've been inside the deck there and it wasn't, it actually had to do with this little booger right here, the LCD uh, controller for the scooter. I was able to find out um, that it was this because I had a used uh, Barla Eagle One Pro old display. Even though it wasn't the correct one to operate this scooter, I was at least able to hook it up and then troubleshoot further and I find that the hub motor in the front and the rear was working just fine. Everything was connected correctly because it did operate the scooter, it just didn't operate the accessories. So after I found that out, then I got a hold of Barla. They sent me a new display. So I'm about to hook that up and I'll show you how to do that just in case you have to replace yours. But uh, the reason why I'm mentioning all this is because these have had a lot of issues with sometimes hub motors in the front not working, sometimes hub motors in the back not working, sometimes um, uh, the performance of the scooter isn't right with the Varla Eagle One Pro. Um, sometimes the mileage wasn't showing right, it would reset, um, your voltmeter wasn't working right, all kinds of uh, weird things were happening with these displays. Literally just finding out that the display is acting up. Once I have replaced the display, everything has worked flawlessly and all has been good to go. So with that said, let's get started. So I've already had this loosened up um, because I wanted to leave it loose because of course I was going to be, I have been troubleshooting it, but basically how you hook up uh, the controller for the version two is you want to undo the, the switch connector, then you want to unplug green connector for the power and that is it. So you simply would unscrew it of course, but then you just slide this off. Take it away. Now, something to mention is on these, as you can see, is that every time you get a new LCD display, you get a new set of uh, NFC chips. Uh, the reason why is because each display is programmed to only operate with the certain NFC chips it comes with. So just keep that in mind. You cannot use older ones of these to operate a newer display that's why they always have them so make sure that you don't get these mixed up that's why they attach it with a zip tie so that way you know that these are the only ones that are going to operate this display so after that it's as simple as grabbing the right millimeter um, allen wrench and screw the screws here and then once you get those undone you simply open them up Put it back around the handlebars. Make sure that you center it the way that you're gonna want it um, on there. Some of you may like it down here a little bit more. Some of you may want it up here a little bit more. Um, so just make sure you get it to where you want it to go. But of course, unfortunately, before you do anything, don't tighten it up yet because you wanna make sure everything's gonna function correctly before you do, otherwise what's the point? So let's check it out now and make sure it's all gonna work. All right, so as you can see, the display is on and working. Let's try one. One's working good. Let's try two. It's going up to 15. Three. Going up to 20. Four. Hitting 30. Both motors are running smooth and five. And we're going 50 miles an hour off, uh, unloaded of course. So the scooter's unloaded, that's why it's hitting 50. These aren't regulated for that. But uh, just testing out how the operation of everything is going seems to be fine. 